Hello and welcome to Vancouver Carpenter. Or is it Vancouver Painter? Or is it Vancouver Drywaller? Well, anyways, you want to know how to get rid of those horrible paint drips on the edge of whatever corner it was you just painted. So first off, I just made some really ugly ones to get that thumbnail pick. So let's see how we can get rid of them really quickly. So I've got this fully loaded roller I mashed against the corner. So the first thing I need to do is get rid of some of this excess paint. So I'm just quickly unloading the paint onto this wall so that I have a fairly dry roller. The next thing you need to do is really gently run your roller here. And this is considering it's still wet. So if it's dry, you've got no choice but to get a sanding block and some paper. Don't forget to check the other side really quick because maybe you just mash the paint back over. Very gently roll up and down so that you're not pushing the paint on the other side. But now let's get to an actual corner and show you how these are made and how to stop doing them. So I have a bunch of corners here and I have a dangerously full roller. I just got this thing saturated. So the number one thing you don't want to do is mash a fully loaded roller onto your corner. It's going to get huge drips for sure. So for starters, let's unload the roller a little bit. I know I'm going to be painting here, so here we go. I've stayed about two inches away from the edge. I'm just unloading this roller, basically. And now at this point, it's to the point where it's not dripping, it's not fully saturated. Now I can start going down to the corner. And what I'm going to do though, is this is kind of like coating the corner bead. So first off, I'm not pressing very hard. The harder I press, the more likely it's going to spill over that edge. The second thing I'm doing is I'm also not rolling upwards. So I'm making sure that as I'm pulling, I'm not going up. So if anything, I'm actually pushing ever so slightly down or just very gently. And it just takes a little bit longer to unload the paint onto a corner because you can't push as hard. As soon as you push hard, it spills over the other side. So I'm happy with that. I'm gonna back roll it a little to get my texture right. So there we go. Let's take a look and see if I got any on those corners. And then we'll get to this, a double-sided corner. How do we do those? So the lighting's not that good, but there are no drips down that side. So this is the same method you can use to paint different colors on each wall. Okay, so before I do one of those skinny corners, I'm gonna show you guys how to load this. So I know right now, I've got a little bit of paint on this roller, not too much. I could probably do one of the short surfaces, but I wanna load this roller up, but I don't want too much. Instead of dipping into the deepest part, which is right here, and pushing all that stuff up, what I'm going to do is I'm only gonna go back to this part and just get a little bit of paint. So that's one of the keys, is knowing how much paint you have on your roller and how far it's gonna go. So now that I have my adequately loaded roller, I'm not gonna start pushing up in this direction because there's the risk of spilling over both sides. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually just unload a little bit of paint off this, like so. So now I know that this is getting a lot better, and in fact, now that I know that paint's off there, I might actually very quickly do this one because I know I have just the right amount of paint to do that. And you have to be quick because obviously I have a loaded paint surface that's going to dry up on fresh drywall mud really quick. So now I'm going to come back and now I'm picking up that paint that I put on there. Just stored it there for, you know, 20, 30 seconds, long enough that it didn't dry up and get any hard edges. And now what I'm doing is I am not pressing hard. So I'm just, basically the weight of the tool is what's doing the job. And it takes a little bit longer to get total coverage here. But the important thing is I'm not mashing the paint over the edges. So it takes a little bit longer to get that really nice coverage to make sure that there isn't any bare drywall mud under here. But 
I also have no spillover. So let's take a look at both sides of this now. Okay, so it's looking pretty darn good, but what do we have? Oh, we got one little bit right there. So before I resaturate the roller, right now this is still a little bit empty, I am now gonna very gently hit that spot. Very gently. And I've now gotten rid of that drip. There's no drips down this side. No drips down this side. Maybe a tiny bit. And we are looking good. And I'm now gonna saturate my roller so I can walk away and talk at you guys for another minute. So that is how you paint outside corners without slopping paint over the edges. So again, always check the other side really quickly before you move on down the wall because you wanna make sure you're not leaving it. And you just take that unloaded roller and very quickly, very gently feather it out. And if it's not going anywhere, don't press hard. The other thing I do when I do that is I'm not actually mashing it on the whole wall. I have it angled slightly so it's only really touching the corner. If you didn't know that you're doing those and you did leave big nasty ones all over your house and they're dry now, the only solution is basically you need to take a little chunk of wood, wrap a piece of sandpaper on it and just push and push and grind it down. So when I said a block, I didn't mean a sponge. A sponge isn't gonna do it because it's not hard enough and it won't plane down that hardened paint. So you need a hard block and some probably pretty aggressive sandpaper and you're gonna have to go to town on it. So anyways, thanks for watching Vancouver Carpenter. I hope you found this useful. I hope your painting project is going very well. And if you feel like supporting the channel, feel free to do all those subscribe, like, comment, all that stuff. And if you wanna go above and beyond, I do have a Patreon account, so you guys can check that out. And if not, just keep watching and enjoy the videos. Thanks for watching, Vancouver Carpenter, drywaller, painter, and until the next video.